the only thing we know about the future is that things are going to change. We don't know necessarily how it's going to change or in what ways or, or how soon, but we know it's going to change. We also know that the world is highly complex, right? The way, you know, there's so many things going on at all times in terms of how things interact, you know, how uh, the economy is changing, how that impacts with how, you know, the political system is changing with our own personal interactions and even our own relationships with people, how all that impacts change in terms of how we impact the world and the world impacts us. Uh, and then there's also this notion of chance um, that because of change and complexity to some degree, um, it's almost impossible to predict and plan out one's future. Um, because traditional models that say, you know, I'm here and I'm going to be this in five to ten years, basically assume that your development is going to happen in a very predictable way and the world is going to stay constant. The two things we know are not going to happen. So again, how do things happen? How do things uh, move forward? And then this is where a lot of this research on chance events. So because people put themselves in situations, or, you know, because I was here, I met this person, which led to that, which led to this. Because I did this, I now had a skill, which came to this, came to that. Because I had this experience, that led to this, which led to that. Um, and a lot of what we're trying to do is, then, again, shift this notion about trying to have it all figured out. But, but more support students, again, back to this notion of these actions we talked about, and get co-op period being a critical one of those, um, to put themselves in situations where good things can happen, where they can be around the type of people they might want to be around. Um, but also then also have that mindset, give them the sort of tools to take advantage of those, those positive chance situations when they come up. Mm -hmm.